Hello everybody, it's Jenny here from Just Jenny Journaling. Welcome back to my channel, hello. Um, quick flip through today of the 2024 Daphne's Diary Planner. Um, I know I'm very late to the party compared to some, but um, I wasn't sure if I was going to get one this year. But uh, I finally succumbed to a very, very um, good uh, Black Friday deal last week, which took the price down considerably. And um, yeah, it, because the, the delivery, the delivery was just, I think, a couple of pounds cheaper in the end than uh, the diary with a reduced price. So anyway, it arrived yesterday and I thought I would do um, my usual flip through share because then they are beautiful um i'm sure that's probably been recorded on different channels over the last few months but to be honest and um, i haven't i haven't actually actively looked at many so just in case you've missed one i thought i'd actually um uh just do this for you oh, oh, oh. so it's it's obviously just uh popped into the pocket there let's see they usually do lots of lovely things i love the little vellum envelope i'll use that in a project so what are these then let's have a look let's have a look so we have a bookmark is it like a little bookmark type thing or a little tag that's very pretty a little coloring bookmark and bookmark to color in that's fab card let me see some stencils and little planner kind of um uh, stickers that's really nice that's really nice particularly when i do my i did do my journals my data books quarterly so i'm obviously working my winter journal now so that's really nice i'll probably pop those in so those are nice little additional gifts aren't they these pockets are beautiful they're beautiful and the print the design absolutely beautiful looks like a kind of some vintage wallpaper doesn't it or fabric absolutely gorgeous absolutely gorgeous a bit of glitter anything else another pocket at the back let's have a look another pocket filled with goodies at the back here um certainly is you would say wouldn't you filled with visual loveliness so we have a little ruler again that would be nice i mean you could if you're not up to making your own this is, this is a lovely planner to work in during the year isn't it so all these little additional pieces how gorgeous is that all these little additional pieces little ruler let me just slip into a, a diary oh little page edgings um like washies they are absolutely gorgeous aren't they all this so you've got the washies in fact, to be honest, um, the ones from 2023 I've just used in my um, winter journal. Uh, yes, I have these uh, month tabs and a couple of the pens. I love these. I love these. Absolutely gorgeous. Uh, it also came along with... Um, it also came along with these. These. This is some kind of project. There's always a um, a paper, beautiful paper project to do. Let's do a little teapots this time. Gorgeous designs. I often would just use these as cutouts and add them to journals. To be honest, so it came along with that. Also came along with some stickers. These are almost they almost look like um all oh, these are, are these like little gift stickers. Sometimes you get like kitchen ones, like for jams and things. If you make your own, they're really pretty and get a couple of posters which i don't normally do much with whole to be honest because uh right so that's a beautiful one home is where the kitchen is and i'll try and do it so that you can see it kind of like that in shot i love this i love this detail so there's that beautiful i'd probably to be honest pop them into a journal quite a big one I think that'd be nice that'd be nice from there up to here and then that would be really nice on its own as well wouldn't it with all that the shelf and then i think this let's have a look let's have a look at this oh so it's a coloring advent calendar 
which I won't be using as an advent calendar to be honest, but I do like the thought of cutting out these little houses and adding them to journals, journal pages, for colouring in throughout the year. I think they'd be really pretty, really pretty addition. So let's get into it. Let's get into it. Uh, 2024 overview which is going to be great in the, my probably my January well, I don't know because I only use I only use mine for three months so bucket list that's a nice addition 2024 now I do use these and that's one of the reasons why uh, I use these in my my day book journals uh, I think I always add I uh, take them out and I add them as my the monthly overview and they're beautiful um, and that's one of the reasons why I didn't wait until probably um, early in the year when they may have been reduced even further uh, because I'd really want at the end of this month to be using this for my January journal. They really are lovely. A really nice addition to each, um, each journal. Always have a little recipe on the go. Things to buy list. Always gorgeous. Always gorgeous little things that bring you joy aren't they just little um designs that bring you joy every day so it's January. it starts from january beautiful the page edgings are lovely that is just so lovely isn't it so that's for february that's a february monthly overview i love these projects where you um what's the word you try not to take the pen off the paper I think it looks like one of those isn't it gorgeous and makes a good image so that's a February monthly overview uh, smoothie recipe really big into my smoothies at the moment oh look at these look at those something joyous about blues and yellows together aren't there that's really nice So yes, this, this came from Daphne's Diary Shop. In fact, um, it usually takes about three or four days and it took, yeah, it took a week this time, but it is a time of year when post is a bit slower. Um, absolutely gorgeous, absolutely. So these are little postcards. Oh, I love them. A quakery and a little coffee shop. So these are postcards that will be added to, uh, definitely added to my journals. So you get the March monthly overview. I love these. I love these. In fact, I think we did some in an art class with my daughter probably a couple of years ago now. It'd be really nice to try and experiment with these on my own. I love that idea of the tab. You know, the little tag on the side there. That's new. I don't think that was in this, this year's. I'll have to check. Um, gorgeous colours. Gorgeous colour combination. March. Oh, so beautiful. So beautiful. So I'll try and upload this as soon as. And I'm still finishing off. Um, my winter journal is completed. Well, I've popped it together. And I've added, um, I've decorated the December pages. But I still want to add my numbers and maybe a few other bits. And so I'll probably try and video that over the weekend and get that up to show you the journal um, and the, what's the word, December pages. This is lovely. Oh, it's so lovely. Oh, 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 these are so beautiful. That isn't that, look, oh my word, just that little snippet there. Because sometimes, depending on the size of the journal, I might just fold this in like so. Um, I didn't always like the, I think they were colouring pages, were they last year? I love this. I really love this. And the little faux stitching. The faux stitching effect there with a the needle. How lovely is that? How lovely is that? Never fails to please. So da uh, daffodils before we know it spring will be upon us and i do love to see my first daffodils and snowdrops in the uk we have just had our first really cold snap and that was last weekend really cold um up north i think they had some snow but sort of in the midlands and in the south it was just bitter <laughs> no snow but it was just really bitter 
how joyous is that look at that so an apple pear and carrot smoothie that sounds lovely i would push the boat out and add ginger i'm adding root ginger to most things at the moment he's quite cute but you know i don't animal these not my you know yeah i could take them or leave them really that kind of image uh they're okay they're okay quite cute take them in moderation but now when you come to your florals and things that like really is my really is my really does get uh piques my interest in all the florals and whatever oh look at these so this is our june overview love 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 see that could just be cut out on its own couldn't it and just popped into the journal or the whole page really Oh, that's nice. Nice combination. So, some stickers, cooking. Beautiful stickers. That's quite nice in a, in a journal, in the day book, when I'm uh, trying a new recipe. Um, it'd be nice to add to, like if you're adding it to your planner. I love this this year. It's very different. The, the image kind of framed different and again the, the tag that's quite nice to write different notes um about your monthly overview i think that's really useful i like that yeah i like that a lot like this really botanical or rather did i did i miss july or was that july yeah that was july then wasn't it yes that was july that was july oh i really love that i really love that in fact i do have a napkin i have a napkin like that and i remember um, using a piece of it in one of my bible journaling spreads and it's beautiful just to surround the scripture that i wanted absolutely lovely love those tones so august is rather lovely blue and yellow oh i do so adore these drawings and kind of a beach sea kind of themed for the inside for the spread so not so much smooth but centered ideas here how lovely is that always loving the orange orange and that lovely green beautiful aquatics oh it's like a little patchwork isn't it a little patchwork on paper love it love it and that's got like um the image ghosted in on the back so the image from here is ghosted in on the on the bullet grid grid yeah paper september which is nice not traditionally oh, autumnal uh sorry don't know why i did that sorry 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 sorry, sorry. Uh, so that's for the September and it's nice to see yeah the little nod to the autumn coming with a scarf although not traditionally autumnal colours lovely little buildings beautiful oh how lovely <laughs> the old record player Vintage record player, how lovely is that? Oh, we've got some more postcards. These are lovely. They could even go onto the front of a journal, couldn't they? Or traveller's notebook. That could be a really nice um, feature on the cover of a traveller's notebook. Beautiful colours again, quite muted. I love, love, love. Oh, this smoothie is quite an interesting one, like a real cleansing one, isn't it? With celery, cucumber and apple. Oh, and I love these colours. Now, that's a real nod to autumn, isn't it? The autumnal colours. This year in the UK, we didn't get... It was funny because the first week in September when the kids went back to school, we had a heat wave. 
uh, it was quite a, a dry, a wet summer throughout the uh, over some holidays. Um, it was quite, yeah, it wasn't great. And then as soon as the kids went back to school, it was a heat wave, and so, and then it was quite mild. Oh, I love that. It's so nice. We're really getting into our woolly jumpers and thick socks and things now. And it's nice. I love all the seasons. I really like autumn. But it's nice to have the novelty of, I think, of the, of the coats and jumpers and things. And then it's nice not to have them in the spring, you know, to see the next thing. But, um, yeah, so the leaves, what happened this year is that the leaves on the trees didn't go do the spectrum of colours. We basically had, like, um, they went yellow and, and went. You know, so the leaves outside of my house, usually the huge tree that goes yellow and then that beautiful russet orange, gorgeous. And that's that's the colour that sort of layers the ground when they when they fall. Didn't happen this year. They just kind of went yellow quite late and then dropped. So it's um, different friends in different parts of the country say the same for where they were. They didn't get that variety this year, um, which is a shame, which is a shame. But, you know. It is what it is. That's beautiful. That's beautiful. That's lovely as well, isn't it? That is so nice. Oh, a little thermometer. Oh, that's nice. I like that. Love it. So where are we? November. Okay, the cookies. Plans. So December 24. Oh, how lovely. Look at that. Now that's nice. That is nice. I've started to use my bread maker in the last couple of months and making fruit loaves and things. And that's a lovely idea, isn't it? To be able to. Uh, I haven't actually done cakes yet. You can do them. You can. To do a really, really traditional loaf cake and decorate it. That looks like figs. Red currants would it be, do you think? And like a glacé icing. Oh, or glazed icing, I would say. Beautiful. Love that. Anyway, smoked salmon canapes. Love that. Beautiful. Lovely colours. Traditional. So we have well, hard to waste January to the fifth, first week of January, and then we've got some little stickers that are rather jolly at the back, and then the last pocket. Oh, this is oh no, hold on, that's just stickers. What we've got in this page that's a nice idea for notes, isn't it? That could be an index, do you know? That could be almost like an index page if you wanted. Couldn't you, if you had um, sort of highlights in your planner for the year, you could index them there. So for quick reference, you could look on here and then go back and find where what particular date you want to look at. And that's the end. How beautiful is that? Again, that blue and orange little pocket. So there you have it, guys. That's the 2024 Daffy's Diary Diary or Stroke Planner. I um, hope you enjoyed the flip through. Um, as I say, it's quite belated, but um, oh, I love a good flip through me. Um, you may wait for, uh, if you haven't got one already, it's always worth having a look towards the beginning of the year, once the year starts, um, and they might get, re they get reduced a bit further. So that's that. I'm about, as I say, I'm just, uh, my next video will be the, um, the December pages, because I've popped this together now. This is my cereal box and old um, dress fabric covering, uh, covering old jewellery um, with scrapbook paper, um, as in a real sort of scrapbook, scrapbook with sort of craft paper pages, which is so much quicker than trying to um, make, do my own, because I haven't really got the time. And it kind of, I wanted it to be like this one I made last year. This is my winter one for last year. Um, but I bought this one and altered it, so really quite pleased with that. I would love this size, so uh, yeah, I'll be back with you soon with um, a flip through of that. Take care, guys. Um, 
if you haven't subscribed before or watched my videos before please like and subscribe if you do like for different videos that come and go um thank you for joining me and have a lovely rest of your day take care bye bye bye